because it's summer. Um, it is the summertime, and the living is easy. Yeah, I just said that. All right. Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty, because Han shot first. Today, um, oof. I've had a busy weekend. I'm really sorry. It's been, um, well, there's Mac and Cheese Fest, and there was uh, today a Rockin' Rosé, um, kind of a craft wine market thing. So, needless to say, my weekend's been busy. I've had much time to really just sit down and record some episodes so it's a little late right now but I'm not gonna skip another week of filming just because I don't have my shit together um, today's Varad will focus and we're gonna be talking about Ganache Blanc Ganache Blanc is well it has many names it is a white buried form of Grenache Noir. Uh, it used to be the most, the fourth most planted white grape varietal as of the late 1980s, but eventually it was replaced by Sauvignon Blanc on that list. Um, there are over 13,000 acres of the plant planted in France. It is common in the languedoc roussillon region and is um, generally makes some full-bodied whites. Uh, full fat floral. I'm having one from Halter Ranch today, although this is a 2014, so it's a little old. Um, you know, you don't want your whites to age much more than a year or so. Um, the grape is typically blended with Grenache Gris, Claret, Bourbonnec, Marsan, Roussan, Viognier, Pique Poule Blanc, and Vermentino in table wines. Uh, we always, or I always refer to this as the filler grape. Gives you extra volume without compromising too much in body, structure, weight, etc. Um, it's also used in white Chateauneuf de Pop and in Roussillon's Vin du Naturel. Remember, I don't speak French. Uh, it's also found in California and South Africa. Um, it's referred to as Granacha Blanca in Spain, where I also don't speak Spanish. And it's grown in northeastern Spain, a total of 5,434 acres as of 2011. The DO of Terra Alta claims to produce about a third of the world's Grenache Blanc. That's, that's a crazy bold claim there. But who knows if it's true or not. It is said that... Um, Spain does produce about a third of the world's Grenache Blanc, or Grenache Blanca. So, hey, more power to you, Spain. The aroma of this wine is kind of a green fruit and citrus notes. There's a little Asian pear, green apple, some unripe mango, a little lemon zest, some white peach, all. Everything from pear and apple to some stone fruit. Uh, on the palate, it's plump and rich, uh, juicy pear flavors, Bartlett's, um, uh, other type of pears, um, lean herbal notes of green almond or dry green herbs and salty minerals, and the alcohol levels will range within the 13 to 15% range, which can give the wine a spice-driven finish, um, this bottle right here is 14.1. It pairs well with a variety of foods, uh, and it can handle some spice. Some spice. Not all spice, or the spice all spice. Some spice. Um, so, uh, with meat, it said to, it's, is said to pair well with things like seafood, because it's a white. Uh, lobster chicken satay, 
Moroccan tagine, uh, braised short rib and pork shoulder. Um, I'm sure this is running the gamut of different Grenache Blancs. Uh, cheese, they suggest soft and creamy cheeses like Brie and Camembert, or medium nutty cheeses like all those Swiss cheeses we use in the fondue, uh, Emmentaler, Gruyere, um, and Raclette. Herbs and spices that it pairs well with, cumin, coriander, and allspice. Oh, I guess I was wrong moments ago. Not allspice, or the spice allspice. Not all spice, some spice. I thought it was a funny joke. And finally, vegetables that it pairs well with, uh, zucchini, cauliflower, and eggplant. Overall, uh, Grenache Blanc is a nice, easy drinking white, and it would be a great way to start kicking off your summer. Um, I know, definitely will help kick off mine. So, um, if you have any more questions about Grenache Blanc, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, I know I kind of speed ran this episode, but again, it's late. Um, I haven't had much of this weekend to myself. My voice is charmingly deep, and I am very tired. Um, but join us Wednesday. We're going to be doing a Wine Spectator quiz not BuzzFeed for once, and uh, just kind of see how well I do. Um, and Friday, I'll either have a blog from Saturday's Mac and Cheese Festival or today's uh, Rosé Festival. Uh, it just depends on which one I put together first. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out on Friday. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been Rewind. My name is B. Schwitty. Uh, make sure you follow me on social media at bschwitty. Uh, my Instagram, I posted some stuff from this weekend if you're interested on in what happened. And I am on Twitter also at bschwitty and I'm on Facebook. So um, you don't miss a beat. And that's, that's, that's all I have to say. Uh, please comment, share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you next time.